Good morning. Happy July 3rd. It's the third day of our family consecration of July 2021. Thank you for being here. Um, today's topic is to pray for salvation. Is our prayer focus on today. We are praying for salvation based on the um, scripture of Romans 10 and 9. As with all our scriptures, we ask you to read them for yourself. Study them out for yourself. Read them in context. Go ahead and add it to your study time, your book, your journal, and uh, really meditate on this word throughout the day. Romans 10 and 9 says out of the New International Version, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is the Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him, Jesus, from the dead, you will be saved. Simple. Salvation. Simple. Lord, we praise and we thank you for this day. We glorify you. We honor you. We give you praise and we thank you for this time of restoration. We thank you for salvation and deliverance. We thank you for the shed blood of Jesus Christ on the cross that you came in the form of man, 100% man, 100% God, hypostatic union to die on the cross for our sins. And today, God, we believe you to be Jesus, that Jesus is Lord. We believe that you, God, raised Jesus from the dead and I will be saved. God, we're asking that as people to go through this, God, that they renew their relationship with you, that those that are going through this consecration that are not saved, God, will give their life to you on today. God, those that are backslidden, they would give their life to you, oh God, with a new determination to live for you each and every day. God, as we get up every morning, as we go through every hour of every day, let us keep our salvation and our relationship with you first and foremost in every area of our lives. God, we ask you to speak with us and continue to talk with us, to cover us with your blood, oh God, so if any sin is committed, God, that we will repent of our sins, that we allow you to wash us and cleanse us from our sin. Lord, your word says that we confess our sins unto you, that you are faithful and just to cleanse us of our sin and um, to... Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you said that if we confess our sins to you, that you are faithful and just to cleanse us from our sins, right, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, that you will forgive us and cleanse us. So, God, we thank you for forgiving us. We thank you for cleansing us on this morning. We honor you this morning, God. We give you glory and praise because you are worthy. God, we thank you, oh God, for salvation. God, we ask you to fill us with your spirit afresh on this morning. God, let your spirit dwell on the inside of us. Help us to know, God, that we don't have to perform, that we don't have to do anything special to be filled by your spirit, but come to you willing, oh God, with a contrite heart and a broken spirit. Spirit, God, knowing that we need your spirit on the inside of us, God, and as we feed our spirit on these next 28 days, God, that our spirit will grow, that we will feel your spirit stretching out in us, that our spirit will begin to take over our flesh, and that our flesh will die daily. God, we thank you for salvation, not just for ourselves, God, but save our family, save our parents, save our aunts and our uncles, our cousins, our nieces, our nephews, our spouses, our friends. God, let's salvation go throughout the bloodline of our families from generation to generation. God, let it go and from flow in, in our households. Let it go from breast to breast. God, let our neighbors and our co-workers, let our enemies see the change in us and desire to be saved, desire to be filled with your spirit, desire to live for you like never before, desire to give their lives over to you. God, let salvation be wrought in the world in the name of Jesus. Have your way, oh God, in our houses. Have your way in our lands, oh God. Lord, we call for salvation in government positions. We call for salvation, oh God, in entrepreneurial positions. God, we call for uh, salvation to be wrought in the private sector, in the education community, oh God. Let salvation and be wrought, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, let your Holy Ghost conviction go throughout the earth, calling men and women to come for you to be saved, to be set free, and to be delivered. In the name of Jesus, and God, we glorify you for it on this morning. God, we honor you for it on this morning. God, we give you praise for it on this morning. You are the true and the living God, and there is none like you, God, and we thank you for salvation. We don't take it lightly, oh God. We do not cast it away way. We will not um, bastardize your word, oh God, and cause people to believe they have to be special to be saved, they have to be different to be saved, that they have to be changed, God, but they can be saved from where they are, and whatever change they need to make, God, that you would do it, whatever deliverance they need, that you would do it, God, that every word that you would have for them would be spoken to them, and that every seed 
that need to be planted will be planted. Someone will water it and you will give the increase. God, help them to know that there is growth in salvation. Everything is not instantaneous, oh God, but they be willing to go through the process. God, touch them now in the name of Jesus. God, send your spirit, oh God, to comfort them where they are, that they will come to you, oh God, and find grace and help in the time of need, that they need salvation, that they need deliverance, God, that they need help, that they need reassurance, that they need love, that they need peace, that they need joy, God, that they need temperance, that they need self-control in the name of Jesus, but it's only found in you. It's only found in you, God, so help us to give our lives over to you in this season, and we give you glory on today, God. We give you honor on today, oh God, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining on this morning. Thank you for participating in the uh, family consecration on this morning. Hopefully this compels you and uh, really jumpstarts your morning that you are able to go out and not just pray for yourself, but pray for your family. Pray for salvation for those on your prayer list. Pray for salvation in every situation. Don't just pray for salvation on today. You can also pray for other things, but together today we're praying about salvation because salvation is more important than the car you need and the job, job you need because when all this passes away, where your soul goes next is very important and that's up to your decision that you make on today. So go ahead and study this word out. Feel free to share, share any takeaways, anything that you experience. Testify in the comments on the website, RashidaMoni.com, on this video on YouTube in the comment section. Um, go ahead and feel free. Um, I'm glad that you're here and that you're doing the distance. Don't stop now. If you had a hiccup day one and day two, keep moving forward. Just pick yourself up and keep going. You can make it 31 days. You all be blessed and I love you.